North Carolina front and center once again in campaign 2024. Former President Donald Trump in Charlotte right now holding a campaign rally. It is his first since President Biden bowed out of the race and we found out his likely opponent will now be Vice President Kamala Harris. For three and a half years, Lion Kamala Harris has been the ultra-liberal driving force behind every single Biden catastrophe. She is a radical left lunatic who will destroy our country if she ever gets the chance to get into office. We're not going to let that happen. Well, North Carolina has certainly been good to the former president. Eight years ago in 2016, he beat Hillary Clinton by just over three and a half points. See the numbers here. Four years ago, he won again, beating Biden by just over a point. Now, the close margin last time around has Democrats thinking the state is in play again this year. And if it is, here's why that is a big deal. Our 16 electoral votes are massively important for Republicans. If they don't win here, their path to 270 gets a little more complicated. For example, the former president would have to flip Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia. Plus, he would have to then take Pennsylvania. And if not Pennsylvania, he would need both Michigan and Wisconsin. Again, all states he did not win four years ago. So that is why the former president is here in North Carolina today. WBTV's Dedrick Russell is at Bojangles Coliseum, the site of tonight's rally, where the president is uh, still speaking, I think, about an hour and 15 minutes in. Dedrick? Yeah, absolutely right, Jamie. You know, his supporters, they know that the stakes are high. That's why they came far and near to support their candidate, Donald Trump. Um, some waited for hours, um, causing backups on Independence Boulevard to take a look at the former president. Um, as you can see now, people are leaving um, while the former president is still talking. I asked them why they were leaving, and they told me that they wanted to get ahead of the traffic. As you said, that this is the first Trump rally since um, President Biden bowed out of the race. But even though um, his presumptive um, opponent is looking like to be Vice President Kamala Harris, um, former President Donald Trump spent some time still talking about the current commander in chief, Joe Biden. Listen to what he had to say about the current president. Three days ago, we officially defeated the worst president in the history of our country, crooked Joe Biden. He quit because he was losing so badly in the polls. He was down in every single poll and down by a lot, so he quit. But really, what happened was the leaders of the Democrat Party, in a very undemocratic move, the bosses, they said, either you get out or we're going to throw you out using the 25th Amendment. That's what happened, you know that. Yeah, people leaving, they are still um, excited about voting for their candidate, um, Trump. As you say, the people are leaving. They wanted to get ahead of the traffic. And I can tell you this, Jamie, that a security was beefed up um, a little bit since um, the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. Um, when we came here, we had to pull over, and the division of the Army, EOD, um, the department that looks for explosives, we had to pull over. We had to pop our trunk and pop our hood. Um, the dogs checked our equipment before we could get in, and they did that for people in the media, making sure that people remain safe when they come here to this Trump rally. Um, that's the latest here at Bojangles Coliseum. I'm going to send it back to you, JB. Always a high security event, even more so, obviously, uh, after the events of uh, 10 days ago. Our